We all struggle sometimes coming up with Airtable formulas. Wouldn't it be nice just to be able to type in plain English what you want and then get some formula suggestions for that, like this one? Great, now we know when the field status is empty and the team will not miss it for sure. Okay, but how does this thing happen over here, right? So, as you notice over here, there is an additional button that is showing up over here on my Airtables window and what you are seeing here is Airtable Chrome extension called Airtable Hint GPT. You can find this extension in the download link uh, below in the description and I'll explain a little bit more about it later but let me show you a couple more use cases how you could use formulas like that. The suggestions that you see are based on OpenAI Hint GPT and the way it works inside of the Airtable field you are typing what the code is supposed to be doing, what you would like to see happen in your formula field. So for example like here we would like to extract the first name from the name of the project leader. So we set the first name and we set from the project lead field. And as you're clicking this button, the extension sends data to OpenAI and retrieves a code suggestion. As you can see, it returns some additional information here that are not needed. So like once you delete that, you'll see that basically we got the first name. So I'll show you another example here, which is actually coming from Airtable uh, discussion forum. So this is just like one of the many questions that you can see on um, Airtable community forum. And there was a question that someone wanted to fix about the formula. And I just copied the part of the question over here. And let's see if we can find an answer straight away using our Hint GPT extension. So I literally copied this long description of what is supposed to happen and then I'm asking OpenAI what is supposed to be the response to that. Okay, as you will see, we got the response, everything looks correct, so I'm saving this right now. And the intention of the text was, let me just paste it again, the intention of the text was to add 90 days to the current starting period. It is some sort of subscription program only in the case when the record is not, when the record exists, if it's empty, the field, the renewal date should be, should be left blank. So this is what is happening over here. We got, we got answer from uh, HinGPT for, for that. As you can see, there is a once more change that we could maybe do to improve the formatting. Instead of doing uh, empty string, we would rather use blank and using this instead of empty string will allow us to format the text a little bit better. So now it looks a bit nicer. Let's try maybe one more example. So for example, we have here a long list of tasks and what we would like to do is to create a formula that will find the word MSA. So master service agreement, uh, we just want to see in which of the rows this word exists. So. We already have this formula over here, but let's try it again. So I have written what I would like it to do and I'm clicking the, the button and right now it is fetching the answer. Okay, so this looks good, but what we could do is we could also retry, see if we can get a different solution. And now we got a slightly different warning. We can also retry again. Okay, so I think maybe the previous one was slightly different, there was only a bit of change in text. If we press enter, oh, you see, actually it turned out not to be correct. It looks correct, but it's not. I can see it from here. So first of all, then the field is not correct because it would have to be this field. And it's also making a little bit of a two, uh, two mass assumption saying that the whole field needs to equal MSA. We wanted just a single word over there. So what we can do is we can try again and this doesn't return the results that we want again. We can try it one more time. If it doesn't return the results that you want, you can try a couple of things. So you can go back and you can change the prompt. You can add some additional context saying that the subtask is a long text field. 
so find word within the and here we have a necessary word long text field and let's try it like this all right so here it looks slightly better uh, but it's also making some unnecessary unnecessary assumptions so we can retry to find uh, something better okay so now it is actually trying to find the word and I think this is looking more correct because it's trying to find the word MSA within the long text it assumed that this is the name of the field okay so now it has found exactly that those two rows contain the word MSA. So in a situation like this, you can do two things. So you can give the prompt over here. What you can do, you can retry it a couple of times, or you can click on this edit settings over here and you can adjust the temperature. So temperature means how random or how diversified the result will be. So if you put it all the way here, means that almost every time you press retry, you will get something different. And usually the answers will get more cre creative um, and more diverse. They won't always be true, but they will be different. If you bring it down towards zero, the answers will be more deterministic, meaning the model thinks that there should be only one specific answer. You don't always see the difference around this, but that's at least the theory, the way it should should work. From my testing, the zero to the default setting usually seem to be working the best. Okay, so one way is finding formulas that you would like to create for new formulas but there is an also a way how you can adjust existing formulas so i will show you an example here when you might be using a if formula for like a nested if formula so if this status then this number if this status then this number and so on and very often you would be using a very complex nested statement um, that contains like multiple levels what if you would like to change this statement here from if to switch? You could do it manually, but that would be a lot of typing, or you can also do a following thing. So in this case, this is a little bit more advanced use case. We know that this could be substituted using switch formula, but we just don't want to type everything. So we will use uh, hint GPT to convert that old um, formula from if into a switch which as you can see is much more uh, legible and easier to see what's inside so let's save and as we compare with the old formula you can see like yeah all the numbers are correct so there's no difference and um, so as you see it seems to be working but you have to bear in mind that this is using AI which is seems to be correct but it's not always correct so here is a great example which I was struggling with so for example trying to find the last name for one of the uh, one of the cases over here so where we had the um, project lead um, here I was trying to find the last name and here for some strange reasons it was impossible for me or I was not successful trying to get them open AI to provide any meaningful result regardless whether I change the temperature setting or not it always seemed to be coming up with some sort of gibberish with formulas that do not exist inside of our table so you have to bear in mind that it might come back to you with certain formulas that do not exist and if they do not exist they will be black they will not be recognized by the code editor in here um, and if it doesn't work this way I would say try changing the prompt or ask on the community forum if this is getting more complicated and goes beyond uh, understanding of a simple machine the way I went about the last name was it was fine with discovering the first name so I asked it for the second name and again this is not correct but let's change the temperature to something that is more conservative okay so now this formula doesn't have 
any kind of crazy non-existing formulas and if I save it again on the first look you not always will be sure whether this is correct and that's something that you should keep in mind so here the result is correct but keep in mind that it might not be correct right this there might be some mistakes in it and again it's it's a bit of a workaround that shows you that uh, yeah shows you the sort of last name but only assuming that you are not collecting any middle names all right so now let's move over to the part how does this thing shows up in Airtable okay so to get this extension inside of your Google Chrome and Airtable you have to go to the link in the description of the video below and at the moment I have not published this yet on the extension Chrome store so you just have to manually install that extension download it and upload it over here so the way it works is that inside of Chrome you have to change it over to the developer mode and the developer mode allows you to load extensions from here so what you would have to do is click on the button load unpack so before you start this make sure that you have unzipped the file that uh, that you have downloaded and inside of your download folder you will see Airtable hint you go inside of the Airtable hint folder you will see assets and source that means that you are inside of the directory that the folder that it's supposed to be loaded so from now you just load select folder and the Airtable hint will show up over here so that's it okay and now you can go back to Airtable reload and the extension will show up over here on extension bar inside of Chrome but also the moment when you open any formula field so it will only show up when you open formula field you should see the settings over here and the hint button over here so whether you press the hint button or settings for the first time it will show up this dialog and this is the place when you need to insert your OpenAI key if you don't have um, registration with OpenAI then you can click over here to go to OpenAI okay let me paste my code over here right so you don't need to adjust anything at this stage that's enough and from now on this will be visible whenever you open formula so at the moment um, the loading process for the extension is a little bit cumbersome because you need to download the folder and upload it uh, by yourself um, if it makes sense we'll take a look whether it makes makes sense to kind of list it on the Chrome store and make some improvements but also it would be very interesting to to learn your feedback how are you liking it whether it helps you with existing formulas whether it helps you with uh, other creating formulas or creating for example regex and other solutions so yeah guys let me know what you think about this and uh, please like and subscribe and share your comments in the description of this video have a great day bye